Hey guys, Jim the Stargazer here. I uh, thought I'd make a video. I haven't made a video in a while. i uh, been in the process of moving, uh, closing on my house. Uh, so um, I was gonna make a bunch of videos on some home theater, but then all this happened. So um, I'm gonna make a whole bunch of new videos coming up. I got a whole bunch of things. Um, recently I ordered, uh, got uh, like these Martin Logan uh, ESLs. ESL 9s. I'm going to talk about those in another video. Um, and then how we sync them up with the RHEL 1508s and then um, uh, the Seton F18s. Uh, so I got the Seton F18s in the corner. Uh, and then, um, yeah, I got a bunch of stuff here. Like I got the Mini DSP we're going to discuss. I got a Furman Elite 20. Um, I just got an Anthem MCA 525. Okay, my battery died so yeah um so um i got this uh new Furman. uh i got the mini good dsp i just got an anthem mca 525 to power these bad boys the esls and then um, i got a martin logan um i got a martin logan focus center channel is on the way i got the in ceiling motion ci is coming uh and then i just got two of the uh fx2s martin logan so I got the in wall, I got it wired uh, so that way I can put them, uh, four of them in the wall. You can see the two in the back and then on the sides I got it in wall. Over here I gotta get this one out. But yeah, so I also got the, the FX2s and then um, like I said I got the Focus and those are coming. They were supposed to be here today but it looks like it's gonna be Monday or Tuesday. Um, got the OLED. Um, sitting here on the floor <laughs> uh, so right now it's got a little 55 inch I'm using for now and I got this Sanus uh, wall mount from from Best Buy uh, pretty good wall mount it's got 16 screws holding it because there, there's no stud on this side it's only a stud in the middle and I, yeah, I made a middle mess here I uh, um, tried to mount it a little too high because I got the center channel right here and then um, the way I had it, it was going to cover the center channel. So this is the connection right here. So this house I uh, had pre-wired. Um, and so I thought I was going to go with some Ottawa speakers. So that's why yeah, you can see here, I kind of messed up a little bit. So these were Ottawa speakers. And so I went ahead and cut, had to cut this out and then um, drop this wire so they come out here. And I put this plate in. And then I got them going to the Martin Logan. And same thing with this. It was for on wall speakers. So now I'm just waiting for you guys to come uh, from MI Homes. They're gonna paint this for me. Um, they said they'll just, they'll, they'll patch it themselves. I should have waited, but they, they said they would have patched it for me for free, so. Uh, but yeah, so I got this wiring package. Um, I'm gonna show you um, what I did. Um, I'm gonna show you what I did in the closet for it um this is a, my little rack right now i just got the 11 porter running um also got this uh, ac infinity cooler so we'll discuss that too in the other video because i got another one to unbox to show you guys sitting here in this rack i put together so i got a bunch of things to talk about just wanted to show you guys uh the you know what i'm doing why i have made no videos yeah, we're gonna make a bunch of videos now. Okay, he's gonna see the whole new setup um, in action. Really gonna interested in the mini DSP. So I'm gonna run the mini DSP first because I have these Seatons are slave together. So that's one, basically one speaker, one subwoofer up. And then I have the, um, the 1508s right now, uh, two of them. So the mini DSP has four connections. Um, so it can it can sync up. So yeah, we're gonna open that guy up run him and then we'll run anthems arc After that to see how good we can get the sound because I am uh, Basically my MLP main listening positions so close to the wall. I'm gonna get a lot of um, a lot of bass uh, the mode, What do you call it the room mode is going to enhance the bass when the boat the bass hits the ceiling there and the base hits the wall here, they're gonna merge and come straight down and it's gonna cause some boominess. 
Uh, I'm trying to find some good bass traps up there um, in all these corners. And then um, I was just going to use some acoustic posters, movie posters for this wall. Um, I should use some diffusers, but my wife doesn't really like the diffusers. So the compromise was to get some uh, two movie posters up there. Same thing on this wall above the um, above the seating because you know that's gonna uh, cause when the wave when the wave bounces off the wall and comes here to the main listening position, it's gonna hit the wave coming from the other side, uh, and that's gonna cause an issue. Um, so we want to have something to absorb it on the wall. So, but yeah. Um, what else we got to do? Uh, um, yeah, I got the I got the MCA 525. Very excited because um, um, I'll go over to Martin Logan's in another video. But the Martin Logan's were, are, aren't really moving the the drivers. Um, and when I bought them, uh, they had a I forgot which one they had, but they had a Macintosh Dual 450 RMS, and and the Dual eights on there really hit. I was so surprised the mid bass on them how much they hit. Um, I mean, you could feel it going through your chest from dual eight. So let alone, I have 18s and 15s here. So um, right now I'm only giving it 170 RMS. So I'm really excited to get that MCA 525 going to see what they really could do. So but yeah, I'll go over all the cables I'm using. Uh, I got a bunch of cables, new cables I bought um, and how the connection is gonna go. Like I said, with the mount, gotta get the, oh, I got the 77 Samsung OLED sitting here. It's much, much nicer, bigger than this little 55 inch. Um, so yeah, so yeah, I thought I'd just drop this short little video, guys, just to show you where I'm at. Um, I'll probably add in uh, some clips of me putting in this plates right here. So I wired this, and I'll show you some, 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 some places where um, some video of how I cut it out. This is what it looked like before and after. So I had wired it all up here. All this, all the wires, everything is coming to this closet, the HDMI, everything I got it running to this closet. So keep this all nice and clean. Um, so we don't have our cables all over the place out here. So, but yeah guys, um, yeah. So thanks for watching the video. This is just a short video just to give you an update on where I'm at, why I haven't been making the videos. Um, same thing with the jet ski videos. I haven't been on a ski in six weeks and uh, it's been because I've been moving and packing, moving, closing. So um, right now I'm going to be making these videos for the media. Um, and once I get this all down and everything, then I'll start getting back on the ski and go find some places to explore. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, uh, be sure to uh, like and subscribe. I'm going to be making a bunch of uh, new videos after this on all this stuff, all the Martin Logan uh, components that I purchased. All right. Thanks guys.